But now let's introduce you to our next guest, who hasn't been lucky when it comes to finding love. She's Elizabeth Hold, and she has endured four failed engagements and has been out on over 200 uh, dates, which haven't gone too well. But now she says, she says, does she not, Ruthie? She has found the one. She's found the one. She is planning now to marry the love of her life, and he's with her today, her golden retriever, Logan. He looks very relaxed Thank and chilled. You much, yeah. Tell me about the love you have for Logan Humphrey, and uh, and 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 Logan has for you. Just looking at Logan's face there, that dog adores you. For that, there is there is no doubt. Yeah, and I adore him. Um, it's a year ago today I rescued him, and uh, the reason why I feel it's so important to, you know celebrate this by doing this is not only because I've been in lucky love by 221 dates actually <laughs> and counting thought I'd better correct you on that one um I rescued him a year ago today um he has a very sad past where he's now just turned six but for the first four years he was locked up in a utility cupboard mm. yeah. chained up beaten awful starved and when he came out he was rehomed very badly with dysfunctional families and it was like we were meant to meet because I just lost my other golden retriever to Spondylitis, who was a golden retriever. So my son said, get a doppelganger. And okay. here we go. Well, what you, you've said that what you've done for him. What has he done for you? He saved me and I've saved him. And everyone... I got a dog behaviourist um, when I first got him and she said, he saved you and you've saved him because I was a broken woman when uh, Humphrey was only eight, but with his Spondylitis, yeah. his legs just went and I was... Absolutely devastating. Okay, I get all that. But as regards human relationships yes. and with men in particular, have you have you gone as far to say you've given up? I've completely given up. I've hand on heart. I've been on all those websites from. Can I name some of them? Well, anyway, no, you've been on lot, them. There's so many. There's so well, for muddy you. matches. You know, yeah. farmers, millionairematch.com, mm. match.com. But then Tinder. But, okay, but Liz, but do you not get to the stage where you have to ask yourself the question? Is it them or is it you? It must be me. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't know. I mean... Have you got particularly high standards, do you think? Well, no, i tell you what I think, Eamon and Ruth. What I think the problem is, the older men want the younger woman and the younger man wants the older woman. Now, I've got a son of 25. Men of that age are asking me out, seriously, and I can't do that. It's not right, you so know. So you want somebody a bit older than you? Well, yes, yeah. and then I also want someone that's sort of... I mean, the, I'll just run quickly through the last thing, the deciding thing. Um, three months ago, I've been building up a relationship with this guy. I did meet him through Facebook, mm. but we, we became, you know, he said he was separated, getting divorced and everything, and we built up this relationship. I hadn't actually met him. Yes. But we were FaceTiming, video chatting, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then, without putting it too far, we were connecting and yes. we were doing and I started oh, sort of getting fruity. Was fruity. he lying basically? Well, I'll cut to the chase. We got a bit fruity on the video call and he said, I love you, Elizabeth. I and I said, I love you, Alibi Andy. That's like, and I, and uh, and then uh, you know and we were, you know, yes. on Facing fruity. and then I hear in the background, darling, are you coming to bed? His wife walked in oh, oh dear so then, that was the final straw you, that was it. you just said that's it okay but, so we get all that I get all that we have a lot of people that talk about disastrous dating how difficult it is to find something but it is quite extreme to go from that to saying i know what i'll do then i can't find a man i'm fed up with them all i'll marry my dog i mean seriously you want to marry your dog 100%. we're not joking it's not just me I, I i meet with about 10 other friends a week we go on lots of treks with all our dogs i'm you know i'm not working at the yes. moment i'm with him 24 7 and a lot of my friends said, why don't you just marry him? Because I'm with him 24-7. I know, but would that not have been a joke? Like, I can imagine saying, oh, you know what, I just might marry my dog. But no, to actually... They initially thought, yeah. yeah. But then after the Alibi Andy incident, they mm. thought, no, this is it now. Because I have been an mm. enormous amount of... Yeah. Maybe it is me, I don't know. But you've got a lot of love to give. I do. And you like the idea of um, the, 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 the story here with yeah. Logan Humphrey and be able to change his life. It was like me and Ruth. When I met Ruth, she was broken. She was lost. Oh, I adopted her, basically, and, and I think that's why our relationship works, yeah, because, yeah. you know, I know the good that I've done for that woman. Without you. Eamon, you, you, 
very few men are like you. You're few uh, and far Dr. between. Dr. Dino. I, you know, <laughs> and Dino. obviously you're taken now. Yes, yes. You know. Well, well look, what we're going to do for you now is, not now, but towards the end of the programme, we are actually going to marry Elizabeth, we'll sort of bless them, and Logan at the end of the show. So, there you go. So... Listen, um, you, 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 have you got a new outfit? Have you got something to get, to get yes, ready? Yes, I've got my wedding out. Okay, yeah, well, what about you, him? Off, yeah, off so he's you... got a tuxedo and a top hat. And, yeah, I've got a bracelet for him. And he's, he's already given me an engagement ring. Yes, I can. Well, Hold it still. Let's have a look. That's, that, there you oh, are. Yes. There, look. Very nice. Wonderful. Lovely. OK, well, Lovely. listen, if we can wake him up... 12.20. Uh, he's so excited. That. He's very excited. He's very excited the whole, about the whole thing. The whole prospect see, here. Next, take a good look, because uh -huh. next time you see him, he'll be in full bridegroom attire, mm -hmm. tuxedo, top mm -hmm. hat, the works. Are you nervous, Elizabeth? I'm excited, nervous. Excited, OK. All right, OK. Yes. Well, good luck to, to both of you. Thank That's you very much. See you not later. A it's a, yes, listen, it, it's our pleasure. What else will we be doing today? Well, yeah. Tuesday. you made us Tuesday. both very, very happy, and thank you very much. Not at all. Thank you very much, indeed. Earlier on in the show, Elizabeth Hode revealed her love for her dog, Logan. Look at him, he's so handsome. And she agreed to get married to Logan live on This Morning. And Alison is officiating proceedings today. Exactly. I am officiating proceedings today, uh, whilst Kem acts as Logan's best man. So, without further ado, could I ask the congregation to stand as the bride prepares to make her entrance down the aisle? Andy, it's over to you, my darling. Take it away. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? And they called it puppy love Oh, I guess they'll never know How a young heart really feels And why I love her so And they called it Thank you, Addy. Love. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> Dearly be wowed. Sit. <laughs> I stand here today to join together Elizabeth Mary Francis Hode and Logan Humphrey II, the Golden Retriever. If any persons here present has a bone of contention as to why they may not be joined together, <laughs> I, I will now... I will now <laughs> pause... <laughs> to let them speak, bark, <laughs> now or forever hold their peace. Do we have the rings, please? <laughs> yeah, I'm here, sorry. darling. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I'm here. It's, I'm actually... it's OK. Do I hold his lead? Yeah, you hold the Thank rings. Thank you, sorry, Ken. So get... Have you got the rings, yeah? He's wagging his tail. Elizabeth. Yes. Okay. Do you, Elizabeth, take yes. Logan to be your very own pedi pedigree chum <laughs> to have... <laughs> to take for walkies from this dog forward for better, for when you are in the doghouse, for richer, for when Logan occasionally bites the hand that feeds him, even when one of you is as sick as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> to puppy love and to cherish till the end of a dog's life, do you part? I do. <laughs> and Logan, hello, darling. <laughs> Will you take Elizabeth to lead you on walkies for the rest of your life? I do. <laughs> Can we have the rings, please? Oh, sorry, I already gave it to <laughs> you. <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> repeat after me. Repeat after I me. give you this ring. <laughs> oh, I give you this ring. <laughs> As a sign that you are the top dog in my life. As a sign that you're the top dog in my life or on yes, my life? Yes, correct, yeah. yeah. With my body, I promise to take you for daily walkies. Oh, with my body, I, pro I promise to take you for daily walkies. And all that I have in my doggy treat cupboard, I give to you. And all that I have in my doggy treat cupboard, I give to you. And all those cuddles on the sofa, I share with you. And all those cuddles on the sofa, I share with you. Now, Logan is feeling a little bit rough this morning, so, Kem, if you could place the ring with Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, could you place the bracelet onto Logan's paw, please? Um, I've already put the ring on you. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just That's give you... Go yes, on. Where, where am I putting it on? No, she'll put oh, it sorry, on you Logan. Put it on. Logan, sit. Good boy. Can remind me not to ask you to be best friends. Sorry. Shall <laughs> so I just put a hat on him as well? 
<laughs> Logan. Oh. Logan, do you agree to take Elizabeth to be your partner for life? I'll take that as a yes. He doesn't look very um, happy, dude. does he? Well, I think you better pronounce them wife and dog because... I'll we're... take that as a yes. Yeah. I pronounce you now as dog and woman. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. What can we say? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. It's been certainly different uh, on the show yes. today. I hope you watching at home were as emotional as we all were, Elizabeth and Logan and Ogan and everybody here. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back doing something completely different. <laughs> Thank you for joining our congregation today. Thank See you, you in the morning at half past ten. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.